What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 11th, 2024, and today we have the Transcendence Luna event going live. Uh, it looks pretty standard for a Transcendence hero, there's not many things that are super crazy. Uh, it does look like there might be some sort of treasure train with it, but it's not going to be like a charm treasure train it looks like a regular treasure train so i don't know if we're getting a brand new series or not we will have to see however there is a brand new chest showing up in these events so we got to figure out what those are hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's jump right into the news <laughs> Okay, new update. Let's see what is going on. Your daily login rewards are going to be three heroic trolls and 150 gems. Of course, we have the pity timer, and it is a prayer hero. So you get to pick which hero it is going to be that you're summoning for, and the loops are pretty standard. Again, the prey hero goes here. There's no special event loop information, anything like that. Palace of Eternity and Palace of Crystal are open, so keep that in mind. And then I couldn't find an English version of this, so I'm going to have to just translate it real quick for y'all. Uh, so the first one here is, of course, use 10 uh, Heroic Summoning Scrolls for a grand total of 2,000. Uh, this one here is earn the 50 VIP experience, up to $800, essentially. This one here is every time you get a 5-star hero, get 50 5-star heroes. Again, pretty standard. The next one here is every soul awakening you do. And then the last one down here is get Getting the relay package this week so we'll have to break it down to see exactly what it takes to get some rewards but again heroic summoning scrolls have been a little <laughs> in demand almost every single month for an event so you might or might not have any what we'll to add up and see what you need to get because this is the star store this time and you'll notice there's treasure train chest that we don't know if there's a new series or anything we'll have to see uh, but there is a new chest and I kind of zoomed in a little too far right there <clears throat> So I'm trying to get confirmation, but it does sound like that is the new chest that uh, is like the the chase for the spenders out there. Because as you guys know, right now there's like nothing in this tier that spenders really need. They they need the stuff down here, the Divine Power Roar Gems and the Scattered Spirit Vein. These, I believe, are going to be to take your artifacts above splendid to another tier and we'll have to see what that tier unlocks later tonight so that could be really really interesting so be prepared this is probably going to be the chase for most of us that spend as well as these free to play we'll have to see if still going after core of origin or these sublimation chests are good or if you want to make a quick switch to artifacts first i guess it really just depends on how powerful this makes artifacts so we'll talk about that a little bit later tonight uh the transcendence fight is here as well so i'm going to try to get the fight ready and going for you with a macro get those five cores of transcendence right there we should have we should be able to have everybody in a lineup so that's pretty good and that's solid free loot soul awakening gala is here as well but the soul awakening gala this time is specifically for awakening luna copies and luna copies only so keep that in mind uh we do have Azrael and shia which it's like the weirdest altar store i've ever seen and i don't understand why it's a thing so there's that we have the star relay package so let me actually see. I don't know if the Chinese translation had this on here. I feel like it's going to be like like the bottom one down here. It looks like it's like 50 and 20. So I think this is going to be one of those that ends up being like a $100 or like $92, $93 pack or whatever it is that we normally see. Uh, yeah, it looks like this bottom one goes for about 50, about 20. So probably about 90. Yeah, I'd say this one looks like about 90, but you are getting some uh, Prism Starry Gems. You're getting 50 cores of Transcendence, 5,000 Stellar Shards. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. 30,000 of the uh, Ormus Artifact Essence here, which we actually might really need. We'll have to see. And of course, throughout the entirety of this, uh, you're getting these guys right here, which are going to be the event currency, and you're going to get 100 from this. So when we look back at this guy right here that says 100, that's where that's coming from. Basically doing the relay package and doing just five-star heroes. You can get one of these chests from the looks of it. Uh, so keep that in mind. It does look like that is a possibility. Uh, we'll just see what the actual end result relay package value is. And then again, value packages here uh, look like this, where we got a ton of stuff 
like regular treasure train tickets which leads me to believe we're gonna have a new treasure train series that's not a festival treasure train series and we just used 150 on hero token which feels kind of bad but hero token is really good we don't know if this new series is going to be good at all so this is the one thing i'm trying to get confirmation on give me a little bit right here guys so yeah that is what that chest sounds like it is going to be so we'll just have to figure out exactly how many we meet need of these because that could be quite a bit um yeah this is this is this is interesting to say the least because uh it looks like the first three tiers you can purchase i believe up to two times it says here uh buh, 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 buh. and then the bottom two you can purchase one time so yeah technically you can get four of these today and that is going to be interesting it says the second and third levels include the time and space origin selection boss after opening you can select any one of the time and space original weapons which can be used to upgrade your splendid artifacts so there is one other thing uh right here i believe they're going to be called d effect d effect so d e i f i c d effect <laughs> It's a weird name for him, but it says uh, the shop in the black shop Smith or black shop is going to be open and splendid artifacts can be upgraded. Uh, this is going to be really, really weird because I don't know how powerful they're going to be. I did check on tap tap and I've yet to find anything on tap tap either about information or anything. So uh, this is launching both on tap tap Android and iOS tonight. It looks like across the board and not one of those features that hits tap tap first so the one downside i'm just looking at before we do our full breakdown video is uh free to play can essentially get what 250 points i guess they would have to dip a little bit into uh some starry gems here if they want to get two of this new chest which would be what 260 whereas this would be 250 uh you'd need to do what you can do it up to 25 times oh geez oh wait that's not great no way you actually can't get there mm, that really sucks right no you'd have to do all of them right to get 300 no i guess actually no it's definitely possible 250 you just need to get what 25 times two you need 10 more you need to do five awakenings on luna copies and that should get you two of uh two of these chests right here that could be good i don't know we're gonna have to break this down but i really don't even know what advice to give this week until we know what those chests actually have so pretty pretty please do not do this event tonight wait for tomorrow for us to have time to look at the event look at all the artifacts and give you guys some better advice because as it stands right now this is probably one of the biggest question marks we've had going into an event so hopefully you guys enjoy this one we will be live streaming here tonight so make sure you guys stop on by and i'll see you guys next time Oh, 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 oh,